Good morning. Today is our Super Tuesday 22222. This is block one math and we're going over our math spiral review number 20. I'm going to put my name at the top. You should put your name and that this is due this Friday and it is uh, that date is 225. Okay, yeah. I'm pretty sure it's the 25th. Two, Wednesday's the 23rd, Thursday's the 24th, Friday's the 25th. Okay, I am offering the same deal for turning your spiral in early. I would like to say that the spiral reviews were much improved for those of you who turned them in early for a pre-check. Today's deal is this. If you turn it in on Wednesday for a pre-check, you will get three armor tickets. If you turn it in on Thursday for a pre-check, you will get two armor tickets. And then I also gave armor tickets to people, an extra armor ticket if you got 100% the first time you turned it in, and an extra armor ticket if when I graded it, you had gone back and made corrections to the spiral. So you could earn as many as four armor tickets for doing your personal best on the spiral review. Okay? So let's look really closely at the um, directions. Um, Mrs. Dale, do you think that you could show Mrs. Burton? We have, here in a minute, we're going to get into some groups and do some fractions. And I kind of wrote out this like little answer key. And kind of, it's right back here. The way I wanted to go over it for each kid, for each question. Are you wanting to keep it over here? No, she can go over to the other room, but I just wanted to go through it. Thank you. Okay, so on this part, it says, write the symbol that makes the number sentence true. You must change the fraction to the same denominator. So we're comparing our fractions. That's something we're going to be practicing in class today. But if this one has a denominator of 10, then this one has to have a denominator of 10 in order to compare. So how do we make common denominators? How do I change this to an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 10? Who can tell me? To find equivalent fractions, multiply or divide the numerator and denominator by the same number. So five times something is 10, and then you need to multiply that numerator by the same number. Okay, here we're naming properties. It has been a while since we have named properties. So please go back to those journal pages. Those should be spelled correctly. They are spelled correctly in your journal and you should be able to correctly spell them. Here is an input output table. Uh, you can write the rule or our fancy math term is write the function and you need to write it as an equation. So let's just say that the rule is add five. We don't write add five because that's not an equation. We would write x plus five equals y. Go back in your math journal to 59 and 60 for a reminder. And then you need to solve for this A. What is it? Once you figure out the rule, figure out what you need to do to solve for A. Okay. List the six factors for 12. We should be able to do that pretty easily. And the first three multiples for seven. There are some pages in your pink math journal that talk about factors. That would be page 69 and 70. So let's write that up here. Pages 69 and 70 can help you with that. Okay, then over here on the top right, we have area and perimeter. There is a rectangle. We have to decompose this into two rectangles. You need to fill in the missing sides, and then you need to find the area and the perimeter. How many sides does a shape like this have? Six. Six. So that's how many sides you should be adding. Draw a ray, ST. You need to use a ruler. You need to use 
have an arrow, it needs a point, it needs two points. You cannot have letters without points. Well, you'll need to go back to that blue sheet that should be in your red math folder to see an example of a ray. Yes, we'll see if there's one in the tray for you. Tire America has 1,767 tires in stock for heavy duty trucks. Each heavy duty truck needs six tires. How many heavy duty trucks can get all new tires from Tire America? So that means if there's a remainder of two, that truck did not get new tires. It has to have four new tires. Okay, and then I want you to look at this. It says show your work on another piece of paper and staple the paper to the back of this paper. So that means I don't want all your little steps shoved right here. Okay, I would actually accept if you wanted to turn your paper over and show your work. But you should not be cramming it in right here. You can turn it over. It does not say that you have to do a race. That's nice because it's only a four day week. Okay, so I'll do two freebies. Who needs a freebie? Um, Trevor. This one? This? This? So the perimeter? Finding the perimeter of this shape? No, no. This. The bottom one. This. I'm not doing the problem solving. This one. Okay, I think that's a wise choice. We haven't done that in a while. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, if we go from 45 to 27, we either have to divide or subtract. subtract. What do you think they subtracted here? Uh, Shh. Guys, why don't, if you don't know, write it over here and solve. What is it? It's not 28. 18. Okay, now let's check and make sure that's true. Is 70, 52 plus 18, 62 plus 8 is 70. Okay, so I think the rule holds true. So how do I write that as an equation? How do I write it as a function? I don't just write subtract 18. That's not an equation. But I have an X and a Y. How do I write that as a function, Gracie? Not times. What do we do? Excellent. Good job, Gracie. I appreciate your hand going up in the air and you putting some effort into that. X minus 18 equals Y. So then, how do we solve for A? I'm not gonna do that one for you. You can do that one on your own. Okay, one more freebie. Who needs a freebie? Raider. The vocab here? Shh. Well, in fairness to Raider, he probably doesn't have that page in his, in his, so I will give you a photocopy of that page. Okay, Trista? This one? Factors and multiples? Pick one. Factors or multiples? Huh? Okay. Tell me what I can multiply to get 12. 1, 12. 1 times 12. Give me another one. Addie. 3. 3 times. And then the last one. That was a good one because it's worth 6 points. Okay. Okay, put this in your red math or your purple VIP folder and then pull out your math journal and open it to page 73. We're just going to do a quick review okay. and then I'm going to, we're going to get to work for a minute. Everyone's going to be in a small group. Mm -hmm. What would you do to solve for A? Well, there's X.
So you have to just to put it into your equation. 26 minus 18 equals y, and that's your x. Oh, I forgot. 